What's up, guys? I'm just going to do a quick review on these uh, E-Leaf EC heads for the Edges 2 tank. Um, just put a fresh one in here. I finally got it broken in. Started off at 20 watts. I'm now running it at 40 watts. Uh, the rated from 30 to 80. Um, these spire coils, the Alinus 2 ones, are the best. They work in the iJust 2 tank, uh, the Mellow, even the Triton ones will work in it. Um, because that's what I got. I got the, the Milo tank. I meant to say not Mellow, Milo. Well, Mellow, Milo, whatever you want to call it. But, um, just pulled the, this one apart. It's right here. Just pulled it apart to see if it had real cotton in it. And, uh, because I don't know why it's been tasting funny. They just have a weird taste to them when you first start using them. Gotta break them in. I don't know. I didn't have to do that with these ones. Just put them in and go. You know, saturate them and go. But, uh, it's real cotton. Real organic cotton. Um, they have... This is the the coil. It's only like this this much. Uh, I wish I went to pull it apart like that, but it was only like two wraps of uh, Kenthal, and the rest was nickel welded in. You know, it's your non-resistance with your resistance wire, which that could be why they taste funny. I don't know. This is actually heating up or what, but kind of had the weird taste that the nickel coil did that I had, and I stopped using because it just wouldn't go away. I don't know if anybody else has been having problems with that. Please leave me a comment. Let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe too because eventually I will probably be doing giveaways. Um, but uh, yeah. These coils are junk. Wasted $15 on them. Complete junk. I'll show you what they look like. I even literally had to check the authenticity because I thought they were fake. That's how shitty they were. That's what they look like. It's got the nice wide open bottom. You know, dual parallel vertical coil. So I was thinking, you know, you put more wattage to them, get more vapor, which I do get more vapor. They don't last as long. Three days. That's all I had. This thing I had like three weeks. Two or three weeks. Ran probably 100 mils through it. Still works great. Well... No, it's been out and sitting. It tasted funny when I put it back in. But it was working fine up until I took it out, which I regret doing now. and wasting my money. But I uh, went to Unique E-Sigs right here in Liverpool in uh, New York. Um, I asked for point fives because the point fives you can run 30 to 100 watt. And these point these point threes you can run 30 to 80 watts. So I wanted, you know, the 100 watt ones. But uh, the guy picks them up. I tell him, hey, can I get some point fives of the iGest 2 coils? Goes and grabs them, brings them to the register. You know, I pay for them. I told him point fives, and then when I look at it, I go, "Hey, these are mark point three. I want a point fives. He goes, "Oh well, we don't sell point fives. We sell the point threes only." And I go, "Well, why did you tell me that? You know, and I already paid for them, and you can't return them. Some things you can return; they'll take like a twenty-five percent restocking fee. But I'm pretty sure with the coils, they don't take them back. So I got stuck with them, which is." kind of bullshit going on a little rant here but bullshit i mean come on fuck but uh yeah it's real cotton using nickel with kenthal non-resistance with resistance wire non-resistance is the nickel and the kenthal is the resistance wire welded right in there you can see it just bends so easy and this one's just so much harder to bend you know so i don't know just weird i don't it took me forever to break this thing it's like 10 hits for it to taste normal and i i put a bunch of juice in it to saturate it to get it all primed i probably put let's see probably about that much juice in the top of it maybe a little bit more to soak it and then i put a little bit more in the holes on the side like the whole the whole hole the whole coil was blocked right off with juice so i mean it was saturated so I don't I don't understand if uh, maybe like indoor smokers or the Vapor Chronicles or any of them guys 
had like the same problems with these, please, like, if you watch my video, leave me a comment or email me or something and uh, let me know if it worked for you, if you had the same problem with these things, tasted funny and everything. Um, I know some of the nickel coils do taste a little weird when you first use them, but mine, it wouldn't go away. I got it from a different store. I forget what the name of the store was, but they said they would replace it, but I didn't even bother with it just because I've been hearing nickel puts off, like, some sort of uh, chemical or something that's bad for you and create cancer if it sits in your lungs too long or something. So I didn't even bother with them. I want titanium so I can just rebuild these with titanium because I heard the titanium is a lot better. I mean, it's like the nickel, though, a certain temperature, and it will put off. It will put off bad carcinogens or some sort of chemical or something, but the nickel, just the way they taste, it seems like it is putting it off. You know, the titanium is a little different. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'll show you how this thing vapes. I'm going to do a full review on this X-Cube 2 as soon as I get the app on my tablet. That's these coils. It took forever for me to get the regular taste of this juice. And I have not changed juices. Changed juices. I've been using this same juice for a long time. I've wasted a couple hundred dollars on this. It's $12 a bottle. And I have like 10 empty bottles sitting over there. I just went and bought another one because this one's like half empty. But uh, running, this one's 3 milligram. I actually just got a 6 because the 3 just seems like too little for me. But, uh, yeah, running at 40.9, I broke it in at 20 watts, which is 10 under than what it's supposed to be at its lowest. Um, the highest I've ever had one of these is 54, and it's rated for the highest 80, and you can't even put to it because they burn. Gunk right up. Garbage. Like, really, I thought it was not real cotton. That's how shitty it was. Don't waste your money on them. If you want a good coil for the iJust or the Milo, that takes or anything that takes these coils I like the uh, Atlantis 2 by Aspire they work real well can't put that much wattage to them but the point threes I mean you can you put 30 to 80 with the point threes but I had a rubber insulator melt on me so I don't go with those ones anymore and I had one uh, have a hot spot so out of the two that I bought of the point threes so that turned me off of those but the point fives were great and the point fours were great so I'm not sure about the 1.8 ones if you use 1.8 ohm anymore. I don't know. I straight sub ohm, so. And that's on its widest airflow. This is down right here. It tastes great now. At first, it didn't it taste wonderful. And trust me, it was primed. Because I was getting juice in my mouth and it still tasted bad. Like, I know it was primed. They did primer puffs and everything. It was primed. So, I never had a problem with these ones. Every time I put juice in them to prime them and saturate them. So, I don't understand what's up with these. But if anybody else has had that problem, please, please leave me a comment and let me know. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks.